Okay, guys. All right, I'm going to save Sandra real quick, and I'm going to include this little part. I hope I'm in the frame. If I'm not, SOL. The twins. Oh, here it is. Car stuff. Okay. All right, twins. I borrowed your car theft magazine. Those huevos red chetos aren't sitting right. Go need something to read. Pray for me. I'm guessing it's in the bathroom then. Because they said they ain't sitting right. And psh, I know how that feel when food ain't sitting right. Ah. Oh, there it is. Right there. This looks useful. Okay. Okay. How do we start the baby? All right. So on the book, step one says use a screwdriver. So we were right that time. So before y'all were yelling at me last time, without that magazine, I think I did mighty good if I do say so myself. Okay. Okay. I was what? right again last time was remove the steering wheel. Unscrew the steering column. What's the serial number? I didn't see that. Is five seven six eight nine four three two zero. I need that number. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Okay, let me grab Strip the foot. Strip the blue no! and red wires and no! put them together. Okay, here we go. Blue and red and twist. No! Okay, the, oh, wires going into the stereo. I pressed the right. Oh my god. Okay, everybody be quiet. Everybody be quiet. Okay, I pressed the option I did last time with the blue and red because I was trying to pick up the magazine. Okay, left wire. Cut the left wire. Because I was trying to pick up the magazine. No, it doesn't. Red and yellow. Strip and it. twist together come the on, red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist. And we turn. Please, Sandra. Oh, perfect. Please. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? The purple wire gets the twisted wires. Strip the purple wire. Oh my god, please! And brush this is the last step! Wires. Oh my god. Okay, okay. We strip. We strip. And we and brush. brush. And and we... Oh my god, it worked. Oh my god, the car turned on. Yes, Peggy! Yes! Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Okay, everyone focus! We know the plan. You can trust us. You can trust us. us. Here okay. we go. I'm not touching nothing, y'all. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. It's going to be all right. He won't look for you there, I promise. And Mr. Russell, be quiet. It's important you make no sound. Quick, Mr. Russell, hide in the back room in your office. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! Yeah, Wolverine! We just locked up yes! the Whistling Man. We just locked up the Whistling Man! You beautiful bastard! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked! <laughs> Frankly, neither can I. If I'm being honest... I can't believe it either. Oh my god. god! It's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. We saved Maurice, guys. All right, we're gonna pause it there because now this is going to be the start of parts three and parts four. So yeah, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to Kai's Cast where I play games and well, the games play me. So we are back with Killer Frequency parts three and parts four. Let's get into it. I did go back in the game and save Sandra and Maurice at the request of some annoying people. And hopefully the rest of the night is good. And hopefully we do not kill nobody else because baby, baby. Easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're no. going to interview me. You Maybe sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now. And you're still all shrouded in mystery. Did it occur to you that maybe I like being a mystery? Too bad. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... 
Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Oh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. Oh. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. Dang, He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. This and, that. Well, I don't like how that's broken. That was dad. That. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and... My mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. Oh. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone okay. want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go okay. check it out? Me? Okay. Are you sure you don't want to go? I we can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's K fan regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Okay. Okay, before we do that, I was scared this was going to happen. I'm okay. terrified for my life. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Forrest, hold on. Um, okay, I was scared this was going to happen because my brother, he watched the other parts and he mentioned something that I should have caught on to. So you see this map here? So we're here at KFAM radio station, right? So Kai would see, come on, help out, help out, zoom in. Okay, so the first incident was Sandra. She was at the jazz studio, which was there, right there. Okay, then the next incident was at the Gallows Reporter, right there. And look what's next to the gals reporter. Yeah, us. Us! I was hoping he might have took a detour before he gets to us. But it looks like he's he's here. So, so I'm terrified for my life. Honestly, I am. Um, I don't know what to do. They didn't tell us how to sprint. How do I pick this up? Oh, there we go. Alright, now we go down to the stairway. I was so scared it was going to happen. He made a great... I was like, oh, that's a great point. I was really hoping he was not going to come here next, but he is, so. Look at these stairs, bro. Oh, my God. So, the first floor. All right. A tape. A tape? Play on air. Okay, so he said play this on air. Let's press for Peggy. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. You know Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. Just they pushed a off. cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Put it on, I guess. Let's see what it is. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? They about to I... die and... Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. That uh, uh, <clears throat> wasn't the ad tape we meant to play. Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. Maurice locked the killer up. I know. Oh, we're cooked. We're cooked. We're cooked! We're cooked! Hey, we had a call come in. What happened if... Alright, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me get myself together. Okay, please. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with... Ash! Shut up and listen to me! Oh. Mr. Russell? What's what wrong? If he dies, Are you though? okay? 
I said listen! He's gone! The Whistling Man is gone! So the one who left the cassette, he really did escape. You mean you knew he escaped? And you didn't tell me? We only just found out. We weren't even sure it was him. Mr. Russell, where are you now? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. Oh. We came back here. Door was shut. Just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks and, well, there was a bunch of us and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got it. Oh. Guess he deserves that. Oh. You gotta, you know. I don't, I don't blame you. I would have been tempted to do the same. Yeah. Have you both got a screw loose? How do you know what the whistling man's done tonight? This oh. was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. Oh, see, I would have done that. No. Myself and I'm then? Then nothing. The room was empty. The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling you, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... Yeah. Oh. Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? There's no way. Whoa, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. Look! I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. No blame. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. Yep. Get out of town. He seems really spooked. Woo, Wouldn't three. you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? <sighs> He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? Y'all, this the whistler man is some different. Yo, he was built different. Out the womb. Thank you again, Scared Mrs. Mama. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. That is Let's okay. go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Let's turn this down. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Uh, sure. Just go get it. Okay. Peggy, if you in with the Wesley man, let me tell you something. I will bust this door down. And I'm getting you first. Because I'll kill you first for that betrayal. Betrayal hurts more than some random man trying to kill me. Okay, okay. Shut that door, bro. Actually, this door is my number one enemy, bro. Like... Never want to freaking shut. Y'all laughing? Yeah. Thought so. All right, I've got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work mail. I only just saw it. See what it says. Uh. Play me ASAP. Off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. No, he has an angry, an angry color. Oh, Forrest. I'll give you the Reggie rundown later. Right now, we need to play that tape. Alright, let me put it back in there. Let's do it again. Sorry. Or try your call again. Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received 
any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest! You know, Roddy Snatcher? Are you a big fan of Roddy? I love Roddy. I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Downstairs? Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well... If that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. All right, so now we're with the head downstairs, and what I feel this might be a jump scare, like he's in here. So we gotta be careful, guys, because I really feel like I just spit. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Barb, I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends, though. Brad. P.S. You only five bucks for the festival tickets. Oh! Yo, imagine being rejected like this, yo. That's crazy. I'm not going for that. I don't know how Barb went for it, because baby, not me. Oh, that's just... I don't like that sound. I don't know why I press it. I don't like that. Okay, there's a magazine. What we got in here? Why do I think we're going to need this later? A maze? Let me put it right here. Throw that. What's this? This must Final be it. Breath. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British <laughs> sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. I don't have it. We got it, guys. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. Not really. This is pretty he is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. That sounded mid, but maybe because we only heard like the first three seconds, so I ain't gonna judge too hard. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. Girl, if you kill somebody for some Roddy Franklin... Evening, caller. Things. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy! Murphy! <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Period. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. Oh my god. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Period. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. You saw the other option. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. Just cut him off. You think you're tough? Cut him off! Oh my god. Big man with a big knife. Huh? Oh Ruben. my god. Come face me, a true warrior at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Where's that at? Guess what? No, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea, Murphy. Where is that at? I got all the tapes. Right there. Okay. Hey, get away from us. So get ready. Hey. You 
So he'll be all the way up there because you know he's going there because he really is oh, no. Because I would not go for that. <sighs> and there we go. Right Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of tank. Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. You will learn the but four yeah. qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator. The okay. discipline of the tarantula. <laughs> the speed of the tuna. <laughs> the poise of the scorpion. I was trying to say earlier, like these little panels here, it makes me um, think of, uh, not think of, but I don't know. Like, I wonder if something's going to happen or that's just saying that we broke. Because <laughs> look at them stains. They even put little water stains up there. That's funny. Um, yeah, there's something else I want to show you guys. Showed you the map. And you guys saw me playing with this earlier. I was playing a game. Like, trying to get to move without making the interrupt. The momentum. Fun, huh? I was really just going around the office and seeing, and I also saw this stuff. Yeah, I just saw some random tapes. Okay. Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, so I bet karate lovemaking sure is My something. My favorite one is the uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just words. get to the show. Wow, what a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next, next caller. caller. We Let's gotta call it. Is. You know what to do. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> Don't say nothing. We're not gonna say nothing. Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down Why the phone. Why would she breathe like that on the phone? He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, Carla, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. Can we? A few times we already? So, you saved them, or? We sure did. You're in safe hands. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, caller? I'm Dr. Sullivan, uh, Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. Yeah, What's your address? I'm, I'm, oh God. Where? Maybe you can hide in your house? Can, you run, Can you run out back? No. What if he's outside, waiting for me? Oh, God. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down I'll the street. Go there. You, you live by a frat house. Yes. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. You should have been one over there. Covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And you're about, about to get, get wasted. Oh, so, God. So Virginia, sensitive. what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I Bro. can't think. I, I can't. Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know. But... Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Okay. Virginia, who did they who order did they takeout, takeout from? from? Come on. I don't know. Virginia, focus up. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this. All right, if you die, I can't well, do that. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. 
Maybe While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Yo, I don't like how insensitive they are. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Ponty's Off pizza. the top of my head? Uh, well... Ponty's There's the pizza. barbecue place, Grilling, Grilling Spree, Spree. Okay, and you I can order that. from Chalupa Cabras. And oh, right and of course we have Ponty's Pizza. So we got three places. That's it, I think. One, two, three, oh. That's it? Gallows Creek only has three places? You know, Forrest, just for once, I think you should be thankful that we're not in Chicago. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys order from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Alright, let's get to it, guys. Well, let's get it. Let's not waste any time now. That's the spirit. Sorry, that. Got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices Don't for anything that. food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. You Thanks, and the Maggie. sliding under your door is crazy. Like, you're nice and tough. God, where to start? <laughs> like, what would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or, uh... So, I'm guessing they said we had to go find food? Is it in here? Oh, okay, we opened it now. I don't like this, I don't... What is this? This is where you would order takeout from, right? Like the kitchen? Oh, scissors, glue... I'm not, I'm not closing no doors. We're in a hurry, man. Alright. Oh, another magazine. That, throw that somewhere. Um, uh, let's see. What was that noise? Oh, the door shutting. What is that? You already saw that. Trash? Ponty's right here. Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. Oh, one free beer. Alright, so we found that. That's good. Alright, okay, so we got Ponty's. Do we have to look for anything else? So we already went to the kitchen, so let's go to Chad's desk to see him. I'm thinking it's Ponty though, because if I was a fried boy, pizza and beer, bro. You know, I don't drink beer. I never had beer, so I don't know that's appealing. But what is this? Grilling spray. I better see what's on this tape. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we got it. We got the grilling spree and we got um Ponty's pizza. I'm so happy I found that because I was really about to give up, y'all. And y'all was gonna get mad at me. So let's close that door actually. Closing your own, bro. I'm not dealing with you today. Alright, let's press for Peggy. Let's turn this music hey, off. Hey, find anything useful? I guess you can, huh? Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Yeah. Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest. What'll it be? Oh, wait. I'm not ready. Ponte Call Pizza. Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Ponty's Pizza. May I take your order? Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, may I take your order? Oh man, I got a frat to feed, so give me that slow roast pizza. Oh, a fine choice, but that will take three hours. You sure? 
Never mind, just give me the garlic bread. Cat? <laughs> Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. Whoa. The folks at KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza, you know. I should really call them and let them know. Oh! And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Okay, listen to this, y'all. I need to see if I did this wrong. Play a record, Forrest. Put a record on. I hope we. Did they win, y'all? Wait, did they win? Frack! Frack! Delicious! Yo, I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. Bro, I don't know. I don't know if Gallo High won. Frack! Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all Yeah, I'm sorry, awful. I'm not replaying this whole thing. You mean equally awful? No, equally good. But if I had to killed. order, not Ponty. He's Bro, well, I think Ponty. they won. Right, so between grilling spree and chalupa Let me coffee. out! I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming oh, in. Oh, oh my god. I think we lost. When you're ready, shut the music off. Sorry, I'm just distraught right now. Baby. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream I'm with me, Forrest out. Nash. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, 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 this is Fratman Parker. We got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. <laughs> yes! Bunker! This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And. Is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a Goose prank. Plunker, this is an emergency. I. Nice try, Goose. I may be drunk, but I'm no. Uh, listen, I need you to- Goose, come get beer. Your brothers are waiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? Oh, let me get a second opinion on this. Norman the Barbarian! What do you think? <laughs> oh, he's <the> Barbarian. <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control it. So, play us the flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Don't it! Sorry, God. Just pressure, okay. The flow. Y'all see that? Double check. Oh shit! Okay, okay, Radio Man. You got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just. Say no more. Plunker's moving the house. <laughs> y'all, legit! Forrest, line two. Okay, y'all. Hello, you're live on 189.16. The scream. Forrest, it's the killer. He's at the door. Grace. Oh my God, it's it's you, isn't it? God, 
I didn't talk, I promise. Why? Whoa! Yeah! yeah! The party has arrived. Yes, sir, boy. Party boys, let's get it. He's gone, and... Oh! Oh, is that you, Radio Man? Yes, sir. Don't worry. We brought the beer. Period. Times are here. Yes! I could use a drink. Thank you, Forrest. You're welcome, Virginia. And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Yes! Some heroes wear capes. Some yes! wear sheets as togas. Oh my god, hey, Forrest, yes. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? Oh, before that, sorry. I'm sorry, guys. So, we are actually going to end part three there, guys. I hope you guys enjoy to watch our... Ah! I hope you guys are enjoying watching me play Killer Frequency. I know I'm enjoying playing it. Um, yeah, I'm very glad that we ended up saving the other two. Because just imagine if we had to tell Virginia that we lost them. Because we really got lucky with that Ponty's Pizza because I did not listen to that tape first. I thought we had to talk to Peggy and then play it, but whatever. We did it. Part 4 will be out in two days. Thank you guys so much for watching Kai's Chaos, where I play games and, well, the games play me. This is... Pause, 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 pause,